Hello, hello, YouTubers! It is the Orchid Prince here. Sorry, I just got out of the shower, but I'm very, very excited after a long day of work. Um, I got a call from a nursery down here called Mickey's Orchids saying that um, they had just gotten a new shipment in. Um, they ended up purchasing somebody's um, collection and wanted to know if I wanted to come and take a look at them. So I hopped in the car after work and drove over there. It's actually really close to our new house that we might be getting. Uh, we're in negotiations right now, but we'll figure that out. Hopefully I will know when closing is. Hopefully we can move in by the end of the month, if not the beginning of next month. I'm very excited because as you know, I'll be building my greenhouse there. Um, because, well, especially now, um, with Mickey's generosity, um, I need a place to put all these things. So, um, I wanted to go ahead and let y'all know of the orchid haul that I just got from Mickey's. So, thank you very much, Mickey's Orchids. If you are in South Florida, I do recommend. She has, um, amazing plants at amazing prices. Uh, it's actually a house, um... They actually own two houses right beside each other, and they turn the backyard into one big greenhouse. It's actually more of a shade area, but um, gosh, it was so pretty. Her front yard is just covered in orchids of every species, genus, everything you can think of. And um, last time I was there, it was like winter, so it wasn't in bloom, but now it is fully in bloom. But let's go ahead and let me show you what I got. So, um, one thing that she gave me is um, LC, uh, so it's a Cattleya, uh, Lelia Cattleya, um, gosh, I was just saying it in my head, Azure Sky. And if you look right here, the roots are just going everywhere. They look so healthy. And I do not know what that is right there. But it's obviously not a Lelia Cattleya. So I believe it might be a Brassavola of some sort. Um, I'll have to call her. She actually told me what it was, but I cannot remember. Um, and then one thing that I was very excited, she knew that I actually wanted one. And when she acquired it, she saved it just for me. Um, if you look right here, I know a lot of people in the Orchid universe have been getting one and I really wanted to get my hands on one um, after seeing all my other orchid tubers out there like Astrid and Brittany um, many 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 different people like Danny uh, they all have one and I didn't and I was feeling very upset I was like I'll have to wait till next year to go buy one but no I don't have to wait any longer and I don't even have to wait for it to bloom she actually acquired more than one. Uh, she had like seven of them, so this is why she was able to give me one. A dun 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 Stanhopia in full bloom. Look at that. This is a Stanhopia Rikari, Rikiri. But it is just beautiful. And, oh, let me see if I can find it. She said this right here, once it gets bigger to put it on a plaque, it's actually a um, rare variety of stag horn, stag fern. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. And then um, the guy that works there, I do not remember his name. I am sorry, guy that works there. I will find out your name so that I could actually give you some props. He was looking around and he found this little one that um, didn't have a name on it or anything. And this is while she wasn't around, um, but didn't have a name on it. He's like, yeah, um, I'm sure she's not going to mind if you have it. And so he put it in my little box that they were giving me. And it is right here. Let me just pick it up. It's very, very dainty and small. So I didn't know what it was, and then I noticed that the new growths look familiar. As you know, I have a, a, I can't remember how to say it, Gramophyllum 
Grammatophyllum, sorry. I have a Grammatophyllum elegans outside that is humongous. And so I was like, what is that? Is it an oncidium? What is it? It has really cute little pseudobulbs. Maybe it was a, a dendrobium of some sort. And he's like, yeah, I'm sure she won't mind you having it. Well, it turns out that once she saw it, she's like, where did you get that? And I'm like, oh, he, you know, he just threw it in. And she's like, oh, well, I'll still let you keep it. But it is a Grammatophyllum tiger paw. So I'm very excited about that. That is one that has been on my list as well. And let's go outside real quick. Now, do not judge me. Do not judge me at all. Because it has been very hot here. And I am packing right now. Uh, Y'all have seen my backyard before, but I have everything under a little shade cloth that I made in the corner. It's just a makeshift until I get to my new house. But one other little thing that she um, got me is this little Schumburkia right here. She already gave me one last time I was there. It's a Tibicinus. I can't even pronounce it. But this is another little Schumburkia. Uh, she's she had about 17 of them out front one of them was in bloom and it was gorgeous and then of course in her front yard she had about 17 of them in bloom so anyway she's like here you can have another one because I told her that mine isn't really growing I've never had a Schimberkia before but apparently they grow very 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 slow and I asked her you know at the bottom of one of them there's a hole and answer and she goes no that that's that's how the orchid grows um it kind of needs the ants for some reason never knew that but apparently that's what gets them to bloom so um just a little brief recap I got a Brassavola of some sort, I believe. If somebody else knows, that's fine. Go ahead and post below. Uh, but I got a Lelia Cattleya Azure Sky, which I've actually wanted as well. A Stenhopia Rokiri in full bloom. Gorgeous. It, it doesn't have a scent though. I was actually hoping it would have a scent. Oh, oh, I forgot. Okay, so I got that one. I got the Grammatophyllum tiger paw and then another addition that i do not well did not have now i do um she does not know the type that it is uh she just knew that she had like i said she got like 17 of them so she's like here you go and she did not even realize that it was in bloom it's actually in spike right now um, I didn't even realize it when she gave it to me until we were loading it into the car. She's like, oh my gosh, this was a bloom. None of them have bloomed yet. Um, I was like, do you want to go pick out a different one? And she's like, no, 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 you, you can go ahead. That just means that the other ones are going to bloom. I'm just happy to see that there's a bloom. So it is a Symbidium. She said that this is one of the ones, if you look right there on the end, if you look right there, I believe it's going to be yellow because I can somewhat see if, wait, oh, wait, eh? okay, you can't see it, but I could somewhat see a flower in there um, that looks yellow, but it is a Symbidium that I, of, of course, do not have. Um, I've never had a Symbidium, and I'm very excited about that, and I'm just happy that it's already in bloom. Um, I'm, uh, she said that this is one that actually cascades down like a pendulum, kind of like a stanhopia would, or like a catacetum would, how um, they actually cascade over the pot, and then once the flowers bloom, it kind of just droops down. I cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. She says that the cymbidium, she believes, is fragrant as well. So I just wanted to share with y'all uh, my little trip to Mickey's Orchids. It's going to be very crazy because her house is actually really, really, really close to our new house. So, I mean, I'm talking a four minute drive. <laughs> so I told her, you know, once I get established, I might come over. She has so many orchids and it, uh, it's, I've only ever seen three people there. Um, I believe it's her son and her daughter that work with her. And um, anyway, I told her, you know, once I move in, I might come over and, you know, help divide things. She's got humongous, humongous plants. You should see. You should see the coconut orchid that she has. The Maxillaria tenufolia. Oh, 
my gosh, it is bigger than the tires on my car and it was in full bloom. I don't know why I didn't take any pictures. Next time I'm there, I'm going to take some pictures or even take a little video and maybe interview her or something. But oh my gosh, it was amazing. You know, I love my maxillarias. She said that she had a whole bunch of other different varieties of maxillarias, but, um, about two days ago, she ended up selling the last one of the, the different one that she had. Um, if y'all remember from my prior videos, she is the one that gave me the Schimberkia that's outside and also this Bulbophyllum lepidium, um, which was in bloom when she gave it to me. I did not smell anything. Someone says that it's supposed to smell like um, tonsil stones. Never really smelt a tonsil stone, but I can't wait for it to bloom because it does create a very gorgeous bloom. Um, last thing I'm going to end up with is I want to go ahead and do a brief little update. I don't want to post two videos today. Um, I want to do a brief little update on the catacetums that I have. Uh, as you know, I got a bunch of catacetums from Sunset Valley Orchids from Fred Clark himself. I uh, let him go ahead and pick some out, which I actually just spoken with him. He was recently in South Florida doing a whole bunch of speeches. I was not able to get to any of them. I was really, really hoping I could, but I couldn't. Um, but anyway, um, I might be getting another shipment in soon. But I was going to be doing experiments with this, and then he sent me so many that I had to frantically find things to pot them in. So um, I potted them all together. And right now they are doing so, so good. So I'll give you a brief little cap of that. If you look at all that green. Now some of these, let me get my hair out of the way. Some of these down here, like that one right there, had no growths on them whatsoever not too long ago. And now they are all growing like crazy. Um, some of the pseudobulbs are getting a little wrinkled, but I've been holding off on watering them until a lot of them get big enough. But I think I'm actually going to um, spray some of them today. Actually, I might even just water them today, just a little bit each. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt them. It's not going to, it's not like they're going to rot in two days. It'll be fine. Um, the other ones that I had over here are doing very, very well. All of them have new growths going in and the roots, the roots, the roots are going crazy. Um, for example, let me just look for one that's good. So all these right here are all brand new and there is some gorgeous, gorgeous roots coming in. What's going on here? Right here. And then if you look over here, just gorgeous little root tips just emerging everywhere. And I am so excited, so excited. Um, I guess that's it. Okay. Well, this has been the Orchid Prince here. I'm very excited with these new plants. Um, I've, like I said, I already potted the Grammatophyllum as soon as I got home because it looked a little thirsty. But um, I'm very excited. I will post when um, the cymbidium blooms and I will post some of my orchid experiments. Now, um, it has been crazy this past weekend with everything that's going on up in Orlando. Um, I have a lot of friends up in Orlando. Um, thankfully, none of them were at the club at that time, but it's crazy that I actually used to work at Pult's nightclub way back in the day. Now I'm talking 10 years ago. Um, so that's why a lot of my friends, uh, they don't tend to go out to the clubs that much anymore. Um, at least in Orlando, most of them have dispersed to California and Vegas and everything. But, um, it is still a major, major tragedy that happened. Um, it, it didn't just shake up the, the gay community. It shook up the entire community in the United, United States. So, um, I'm going to try to keep posting and posting and posting as much as I can with this move going on and everything else going on. But um, you know what? Stay happy. Keep growing. Um, just, just get your mind off of it some way. As you know, um, I just posted a video about uh, one of my dear friends that passed away. Uh, 
the weekend before all this happened, it was less than a week, a week before, um, less, less than what happened this weekend. So it's just one thing after another. So um, I've actually picked up a lot more hours at work and um, which I'm kind of happy about. Uh, I'd rather be here growing. But um, I'm very happy to see new growths, especially. Guys, if you want to see something that gives you instant, almost instant gratification, get you a catacetum or a catacetum type orchid. Because, boy, when those suckers grow, they grow. Um, it's basically every single day that I look at them, I see something new, whether it be a new growth. I mean, I've got some of them that have four growths on them. What? What? From a plug. So, um, that gives, that, that keeps my spirits up to come home from work every day and go look at them and see something new. And then of course, all the new acquisitions that I get, um, from friends, family, and loved ones. So, um, I will keep you posted and uh, if you have any requests, post them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, go ahead and post them down below as well. But guys, this has been the Orchid Prince, and I'm out.